Hello, tis I, the brave little thick boy. Oh my god. Hello, everyone. This is Tristan Piers. Today, I will be bravely trying these Trader Joe's holiday items so you don't have to. Now, as we can see here, perhaps you can, perhaps you cannot. There's not really that many items here, and let me tell you why. So, I took my brave little butt to Trader Joe's on a mission. I had a list and I was checking it twice. I show up to that store and I kid you not, the line to get in went all the way through the strip mall. I had a feeling that I was going to walk in there to absolute disaster. Empty shelves left and right. And I wasn't that wrong. So I went into this lovely little store while checking my little list and walking around multiple times. I was only able to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine things. Now the main item we were looking for was spiced holiday Nog. I looked high and low for this holiday nog. And when I could not search any longer, I asked an associate and was reminded that this is the state of Oregon and liquor is controlled by the government here, so they can't sell it in their store. So that was disappointing. However, we did get away with a few perhaps delicious, perhaps not items. The first one that I want to try um, is the first because it has to be served hot. This is Hark and Holly, a word I don't know, mold wine. And what this is, evidently, is infused with cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, clove, and orange peel. This mulled wine is sure to add some warmth, coziness, and cheer to your fall and winter festivities. Ready to drink, just heat and serve. I see this a lot on like travel shows when they're in Europe, and I've never tried this before. So we poured <laughs> perhaps a concerning amount for 2 p.m. on a Sunday into this mug and heated it up to near skin torching temperature. Let's just do a little like aeration sip. <sighs> That's alcohol. Mm. Oh yeah, what a good way to start a Sunday. Oh my God, wait, I like this. Okay, I, I, I need, I need. You do, you can, you. I need to talk about it more. Let me take another sip. It is very sweet. This is rather refreshing, like sangria for winter. I love this. I can only imagine being with my man on a sleigh ride in the snow, taking a sip of this just to stay warm through those cold winter nights. Okay, wait, one to 10. If we're talking holiday drinks, 10 out of 10. The next item that I think would go well with this mulled wine is this cheese. I know you're probably like Tristan cheese. Why is that a holiday item? Well, it is according to the clerk. This is called Nokolost. Nokolost cheese. This says a buttery, creamy cow's milk cheese infused with cumin and cloves. This is what she looks like. Quite lumpy here. I'm really happy that I picked up some stuff that's like not always sweet stuff. Cause I feel like even if it's Christmas day and you're like entertaining people, which I know is hard in 2020, you know, whatever. If you're entertaining yourself for the holidays, you have to have a little hors d'oeuvres, or as they say in my hometown, horses doofers to have with your food. Ooh, this smells delicious. I'm just gonna do like one slice. Oh, this is interesting. Cloves are just that flavor that just screams holidays to me. And then cumin, or cumin, obviously is something that like I put when I make ground beef for tacos or in chicken and stuff, and I can taste that in here. So what ends up happening is this cheese tastes super savory and it almost tastes like a portobello burger, <laughs> but I like this. This cheese on like a beef burger would slap. So I would give that a seven. Let's move on to the next thing that I questioned if this was a holiday thing and the guy assured me that it was. This is truffle dip. And the guy said it was only a holiday thing. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah, totally. And this is what she looks like. Let's do it. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that just took me for a doozy. I don't understand what you do with this. This gives me like clam dip vibes. Ugh, here, I have some mold wine to cleanse your palate. 
Wow, that tastes way more alcoholic after eating the cheese. Woo! Okay. I'm disappointed. I'll tell you why I'm disappointed. I can barely taste it. I feel like the only thing I'm gonna end up using that for is putting it in like a baked potato. On our one to 10 scale, a three. All right, folks, round two, we're moving on to the sweet stuff. Let's just get this party started. So the first one, this is empty. It's the Nog Protein Beverage Schmoody from Trader Joe's. And I had this with my breakfast this morning. I'll insert the clip now. I mean, I don't hate it. It just tastes like nutmeg and milk. The flavor started to not be good. So I will very quickly give that a one. On a more exciting note though, because I'm trying not to drink dairy as well, we have the almond nog. Now, when it comes to vegan nogs, there's always an issue. And that issue comes about because uh, like a good portion of what eggnog is is very thick milk with eggs. So it's hard to duplicate it, obviously, in a vegan form. So we're gonna pour some in this bougie glass right here. Ew. It looks like when you buy uh, scrambled eggs in a curtain. <sighs> she got that foam. It smells like eggnog, it smells great. Okay, let's do a little sip. Mm, okay. Here's the thing, I'll make this quick. It's doing the same thing that this protein nog did to me, just a little different. The almond flavor is super strong, so it just tastes like regular almond milk, and I'm not getting enough of the nog. Like, it tastes like eggnog, but it just tastes so almondy, and there's just like not a lot of other stuff going on in there. I'm gonna give that a three out of 10. Okay, next up, we have marzipan stolen. It just looks like some kind of fruit cake loaf with powdered sugar on it. Yeah, there's something green in here. Okay. This tastes like exactly what I thought it would. It's a sweet bread with a combination of raisins and other candied fruit, like diced up and some gummies. And I like this. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna like this, but I like this because it's not too sweet and it kind of has like that spice flavor to it. I give marzipan stolen a six and a half. Let's move over to these two different items. Ooh, I don't know if you can see them on this plate. I'll show you on my phone. So these ones had to be made yesterday because one of them were these Pfeffernus, I really hope that's how you say it, Pfeffernus cookies, and they were in a box. So I just had to add a stick of butter and an egg. And then these other thingies are camembert cheese and cranberry sauce, phyllo, phyllo bites. I don't know if it's phyllo or phyllo. Let's just see what we have going on here. Okay. First reaction is that this doesn't taste like cranberry. It tastes like a cherry pie. I just got the cheese flavor. Okay, I'm not a fan. Cause you take a bite and you're like, oh, this tastes like cherry pie. You're like, love that. And then you get an aftertaste. And that aftertaste is cheese. And you're like, excuse me, cheese. What are you doing in my cherry pie? I'm gonna give that a two. So let's move on to these Pfeffernus cookies, shall we? These were fun to make. I think these will be good. Oh man. Oh, Pfeffer news who? Ah, more like Pfeffer new husband. <laughs> oh my God. So this gives me eating the gingerbread house if it washed away in a flood, but it was a good flood. It gives me like 100% holiday vibes. 10. These are better than gingerbread men. These are soft. These are doughy. With the same type of flavor as a gingerbread man. My heart! <laughs> so good! 
Alrighty, friends and family, grand finale. We have here the Trader Joe's original Jingle Jangle, a fun mix of fan favorite candy treats. If I'm being quite honest with you, I cracked this open last night and already ate some, but let me just talk about the flavors. And my first negative reaction to this was, I clearly bought one that looks like someone left the heater on in the car. It's like melted to the side. But let me explain what's in here since I know I've already tried this. We have some dark chocolate covered pretzels. We have some, their version of Oreos covered in chocolate. We have milk chocolate and dark chocolate peanut butter bites. Something that looks like an M&M but doesn't have the M on it. And then you have these strange things that are like pretzels covered in dark chocolate. But the texture is not a pretzel. I mean, overall, this thing would be fun just to have out like if you're having some drinks with people or if you have a sweet tooth and just need like a little candy dish to sit on your counter so you can go have some snacks. On a 1 to 10, I don't think I'd ever buy this again obviously because this stuff is really sweet and it like hurts me <laughs> to eat this. I will not be biased about this and just say if you're buying this for friends and family, I'll give this a solid 7. Alright, and final review. I would only recommend three items out of here, and that would be this mold wine, these jingle jangle snacky snacks, and please buy every single Pfeffernus cookie mix you can find on the shelf because it will make these lovely cookies right here. I cannot get over how good these are. Oh my god. Everything else, whatever. I'll enjoy that cheese, but you ain't giving me holiday vibes like Mr. Pfeffernu. I hope my super professional food quality assurance taste testings have helped you because I sacrificed my own well-being and taste buds in order to help you understand what to buy from Trader Joe's this holiday season. So I hope you do get some Pfeffer News cookies and make them and tag me in the picture on Instagram because I want to see how beautiful your cookies are. My Instagram is Tristan Piers, just to plug myself. So if you enjoyed this Trader Joe's holiday quality assurance food taste test ratings 1 to 10, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> I feel so first writer. <laughs> God, Tristan, act sober. I am sober, I only took a sip.